park and it ended up on the road. Yeah, I see what I'm showing you. Yes, it ended up on the road. Now I got a call from Miss Will Mr. Williams. He was here Saturday measuring up my shed. Measuring up my shed and how far it come out and all these things. Threatening to break down my shed. Yeah, threatening to break down my shed. How I'm not supposed to. This is a residential area and I'm not supposed to operate in no business. I understand that. I'm fully much aware of that. Right? But this is a small business. This is not a multi-million dollar business. This is not a Chinese supermarket. Here, this is a small business. It's carry washing. Yeah, it's carry washing. We got to survive. All the time, and people trying to tell me, Oh, it's not racial. I'm one of the only black man that got business on this main road, and is the only one being victimized. All the time, no matter how much I try to stay in my car now, I am the only one being victimized all the time. True to this young lady that lives over there. All the time. And I have the letters to prove from the different agencies that's come at my place. Now Mr. Williams is threatening to close down my business. So I Welcome back to the flight. Hit that subscription button, buddy. And stay updated with everything that's trending in Guyana and the diaspora. Thanks. Take out my money what I work for. Invest in a small business. As you can see, this is where I live. Right? This is where I live. I operate a wash bay. Intuition scheme. I operate a wash bay. Yes, it is registered. I used to operate a fish shop. It's registered also. I get my food handlers. Everything that I need, ground work. There's the fish shop there. You to operate it. It can't operate no more. It can't operate no more. See this neighbor? Look at this big house here. This this big shed here. See all these things on this carpet? Right? Yeah. This neighbor bring every single body. Every single entity that you could think about. She went to the station. She made countless reports over and over concerning my business to no avail the like I said I don't break no laws so can't be prosecuted if you can break no law at least this is what I think anyhow she went to the EPA she went to the ethnic relations I have letters from all these agencies the people from the EPA this is the only let me just back up a little bit this is the only watch bit that got Got the pressure wash in a box, in a, in a carpet box. The UPA advised me to put on the top and put on the back. Well, this is the only thing I could come up with for put on the top and the back. For reduce the noise from this neighbor that lives over the other side over there, right? See, if you look more wash, be there on this hand, this side of the of the land. The fish have don't function no more. She cuts up my customers, she abuse them up. Is 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 ongoing something. Some business dead. So I try for, you know, adapt for survive. I, f I close the fish shop. We ain't doing fish shop no more, man. We can do something else because I got three children. The guy, the guy live. The guy survive. So I got to do. Me and get money to do this. This, this ain't chaos by the government. I invest my money and I chaos it. You understand? Oh, I's a hard working man. I invest my money and I chaos it. Now, they got about 10 wash bay in this scheme. I don't know if I could switch this camera. They got about 10 wash bay in this scheme. I, could, I can't switch it. If you look way up the road there by the blue bus, there's a wash bay uh, so there on or oh, right out here, right out on the reserve as the saying, the government reserve. There's a wash bay straight up the road where the blue bus is. There's a wash bay. They got about 10 wash bay in the scheme. 10 wash bay in about 10 on this main road in this scheme that they're on top of the same road. You understand? Look how far me shed there from the public road. Watch from the road watch you see the distance this car could park this car could park not under the shed it could park and it ended up on the road yeah i see what i'm showing you yes 
it in the road. Now I got a call from Miss Will Mr. Williams. He was here Saturday measuring up my shed. Measuring up my shed and how far it come out and all these things. Threatening to break down my shed. Yeah, threatening to break down my shed. How I'm not supposed to. This is a residential area and I'm not supposed to operate in no business. I understand that. I'm fully much aware of that. Right? But this is a small business. This is not a multi-million dollar business. This is not a Chinese supermarket. Here, this is a small business. It's carry washing. Yeah, right? it's carry washing. We gotta survive. What we gonna do? What we all we can teeth. Some of we ain't got the skin for tech legs for teeth. You understand? Some of we gotta work hard for survive. And I invest my money to survive. In my country, I'm a guy in his citizen born and raised. I never left this country yet. I don't even have a passport for going no way because this is me home. You understand? And if I can't live here and I can't hustle here, where else I could live? Where else I could go and walk? You understand? What else what am I supposed to do? I want to show you this here. They tell me that is not something racial, but I, I live in here and I dealing with it all the time, my old friend. I dealing with it all the time. Ninga racialism in blood. I is a guy in Jesus. One people, one nation, one destiny. This the matter, this country. You understand? Watch, you see this Krishna house here? Watch, there's an expression house. And why you look good? There's an expression house. Watch, you see all them tire without there? You see all them tire without there? Nobody can stop no way there. And like I show y'all before, you understand? You see all these cement bags where they're here, so, and all these blocks and all these things. Nobody can stop there. Me ain't got a problem. Me ain't got to stop there. I do me thing. I try to do my business. Try to stay in my car now. Watch, I take this. I put this. I know it's a long video. Y'all bear with me. Watch. I put this, 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 this fly boat here, so this fly there here, so for black guy. Every time the customer come, she cussing them up, she cussing up the customer them. You understand? So I black it. Watch. She video in my yard. Watch, watch. You see the zinc here? I put the zinc here for black there because she video in my yard all the time. I can't live in peace. Everywhere I go, this girl apparently she walking. Can't can't you see? She walking at legal affairs. And apparently, when people powerful in this country, they could victimize and they could prosecute whoever they feel like. Because the enforcement officer ain't got to know how they shed. It was an exercise and a campaigning and they want to regularize everything in the scheme. I would understand. I have no problem with that. You understand? Mm -hmm. But you cannot come to me and pick me out. Out to the group. You understand? Pick me out up to, out to the group for try to break my business and try to demolish my business. Mr. Williams, whoever is Mr. Williams calling me from enforcement, I just come off of the phone with him. You understand? He was here Saturday. I wasn't at home measuring up my place. You understand? So I am asking and I'm seeking because I want to know what happened. What happened, man? We ain't got no help in this country. What are we going to do? What are, we, what are I supposed to do? Mm, yeah, tell me what I supposed to do. I am frustrated. I live in through this for years. I got videos for sure that these people running, coming over in my yard, coming over here for beat me. You understand? For fight with me. These people over there. I have video for show it. You understand? It's two Krishna house. Watch. This one, what the signed up there? What the next signed up here? And this is why I got to deal with all the time. And people trying to tell me, oh, it's not racial. I'm one of the only black man that got business on this main road. And is the only one being victimized. All the time, no matter how much I try to stay in my car now, I am the only one being victimized all the time. True to this young lady that lives over there. All the time. And I have the letters to prove from the different agencies that's come at my place. Now Mr. Williams is threatening to close down my business. So I tell you, I said... Mr. Williams, the NDC give me some time to remove this shed from here. And I said, I'm going to break this and I'm going to put them in my yard because this is how I survive. You understand? This is how I survive. Right? I'm going to put it in my yard. You know, he turned and tell me, he said, I still can't put it in the yard because they're going to close it down because it's a residential um, property and I can't do commercial business on it. This is not a multi-million dollar business. All these people in here so would get car wash it in change to commercial is residential. You understand? Everybody doing the business mean teething from nobody. Mean teething from not a soul. You understand? I need some help from whoever. Whoever aware about this and whoever could do something about this. This is not fear. This is not fear. It is not fear at all. And I'm extremely frustrated because every time you try, you got another set. Oh, wait, look, the bus come. Apparently, this is the bus that come here. Look, the vehicle come. You see? I ain't lying. Watch. Watch the come. Watch. 
See? No, oh, sorry, there's EPA. Sorry, there's EPA. 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 Just now, let me deal with the EPA now. Right? Let me deal with the EPA and then we can move on. Right? Twenty Venezuelan nationals face charges in the Georgetown Magistrates Court this week for illegally exploiting fish. The accused were apprehended while allegedly fishing in waters near Georgetown between August 20 and September 5, 2024. However, the fishermen claimed they had received permission from a local fishing company to operate in the area. According to police reports, ranks of the Guyana Defense Force Coast Guard were conducting patrols approximately 82 nautical miles offshore when they observed two Venezuelan registered vessels operating in the exclusive economic zone. The vessels were found to be fishing at a depth of about 180 feet with lines deployed on both sides. Upon arrival, the Coast Guard discovered a total of 20 crew members, including the two captains. The captains were unable to produce the necessary fishing documents, and the vessels were found to be carrying a large quantity of fresh fish. 
the two main opposition political parties People's National Congress Reform and Alliance for Change have condemned the surge carried out by police at the Eccles East Bank Demerar home of relatives of social activists, Melissa Melly Mel Atwell. The search has raised the question as to whether proper protocols were followed by the officer. A section of the high command of the force was unaware of the search as well as the ranks and commander in the division. In a Facebook post following the search, she wrote, My family is now the target of this government and the Guyana police force, harassing and intimidating my 87-year-old grandmother suffering from dementia and my mother. Van load of police cleaning how drugs does come to me through barrels and boxes, doing everything to break me because I refusing your hush money. This God don't sleep. In a statement issued the AFC said, We strongly denounce the intimidation tactics employed against Atwell's family. PNCR said this shows explicit evidence the force has been politicized and deprofessionalized by the PPP regime. The Ministry of Human Services and Social Security, through the Guyana Police Force, has launched an investigation into the unauthorized copies of all age pension and permanent disability books, which have been submitted for encashment at post offices and other payment venues. The Ministry in a statement highlighted, these books do not bear the security features and colors of the official books. As such, the Ministry stated that they have provided all of the information in their possession to the GPF. Anyone involved in this will face the full force of law the human service minister underscored. Notably, any person who presents the fake books will be held accountable. In addition, the Diana Post Office and alternate payment venues are requested by the ministry to heighten their vigilance as it relates to these books and this issue. The Diana Sugar Corporation yesterday denied that sugar was unaccounted for from the Rose Hall estate but said there had been an overstatement by 243 tons and two persons were dismissed as a result. It was the corporation's first reaction to a news item in the September 15 Sunday Stabrook which had said that 240 tons of sugar could not be accounted for. Referring to questions raised by APNU plus AFC Shadow Minister of Agriculture, Vince Roy Jordan in yesterday's edition of Stabrook News, Guys UCO said Mr. Jordan also spoke of missing sugar at Rose Hall. The corporation is tired of his false claim, specifically since there was no issue of missing sugar. However, what had occurred was a major breach in the standard operating procedure for sugar declaration over a period of time, which resulted in an over-declaration. This was deemed as a serious misconduct, which led to the dismissal of the production manager and the head laboratory technician. The Turkish power ship company supplying the Guyana Power and Light has bid to supply the additional 60 megawatts of electricity that the utility company now seeks as it prepares for increased demand during the CPL cricket and Christmas seasons. Bids to supply GPL with 60 MW of net power generation base load capacity for the Demerara Burbis interconnected system were yesterday opened at the National Procurement and Tender Administration Board, Georgetown, and among the five bidders was Car Powership Global 700 in partnership with Urbeck and Trading and Contracting Inc. Other companies included Power Systems and Heavy Duty Machinery Conglomerate, Machinery Corporation of Guyana Limited, which indicated that it could supply power at US 6 cents per kWh. Police in Regional Division No. 6 successfully dismantled a large cannabis farm during an extensive eradication exercise conducted at Bartica along the Burbis River. The operation resulted in the destruction of a cannabis plantation estimated to be worth $17 million. The farm, covering approximately seven acres, contained around 50,000 cannabis plants, varying in height from three inches to six feet. In addition to the plants, authorities discovered several farming tools, three camps, and 10 live 12-gauge cartridges at the site. The cannabis plants, along with the associated farming equipment and camps, were set ablaze as part of the eradication efforts. The recovered cartridges have been secured at the police station for further investigation. As of now, no arrests have been made in connection with the operation. Diana got off to a satisfying start at the South American Women's and Men's Classic Powerlifting Championships in Buenos Aires, Argentina, on Wednesday when the lone female athlete on the team, Sarah Sanubin, lifted her way to four bronze medals. The third-year University of Diana student, pursuing a bachelor's degree in economics, who competed in the female junior 69 kilograms category, was in classes until the start of the weigh-in, but still mustered the mental fortitude to compete against her peers, her performance being good enough to earn her podium positions in all the lifts, and overall, she had a best squat of 150.0 kilograms, bench press 82.5 with her best deadlift being 160.0. Her overall total was 392.5 kilograms the same as the silver medalist, Sofia Cabra of Peru, 
who finished ahead of San than by a lighter body weight. A natural way to stay ready, baby, because I'm ready for you, Mr. C. The ultimate male supplement, men's total wellness formula, packed with essential nutrients for men's health. She'll call you Mr. C. Well, anyways, your reasons I call all you here is because I have some news for you. Terrence, didn't tell you you're going to be a daddy again. Oh, well, that is extra. I got news. I'm not the mommy. What? Your boy, what? <laughs>